Hello you guys, um, this will be a pretty fast video, it's just going to be showing you how to create outputs out of RenderMan so that we can um, break up some of these passes inside of Nuke and alter things like diffuse, like spec, like um, do Z defocus so that we can do depth of field inside of post instead of rather in camera. Um, and so it's a it's a pretty fast uh, tutorial and let's, let's, uh, let's get started here. So. Um, the way to start accessing your outputs is um, here in your Maya uh, RenderMan shelf. Um, you need to open up your RenderMan globals, and that's this far top left button up here. Um, it'll t sometimes it takes a second, but it's not a big deal. Um, that will open up and it allows you to tweak your render settings, um, add outputs, uh, create uh, uh, denoise pass. So um, when you when you render, it'll go through and it'll sample all your things in denoise, uh, and you'll recognize your your Maya window of render settings inside here, where you're gonna change your your size and your shot camera and and your file extensions and all that jazz. Um, but basically, the way to add a new um, output is uh, you need to have a final pass. And you guys might be seeing something a little bit different here. You might be seeing your default settings, which um, have all of this information here. But um, and you, you would still actually be able to go into Final and go into Outputs here and, and add them. Um, but what I like to do is actually view my past settings tree, and and then I can see um, you know my 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 shot camera that is actually that's going into my final pass for example cam shape here um, to see what's being calculated in my in my text make pass as well as if I have a denoise pass or not um, so I just like to keep this default and pass uh, tree settings um, so the next step is we're going to create some outputs that are attached to our final um, output when we render uh, so we go from here from settings over to our outputs tab uh, and you notice it's pretty barren. There's not a whole lot of stuff on the screen. There's not a whole lot of stuff in this window. Um, and so they cleverly hid this this drop down here under add channels and outputs. Um, and that's where we get a lot of these uh, great um, outputs that we can add into our EXRs. Uh, so the ones I've been using mostly are point pass. Uh, you can make a normal uh, a normal map so we see the the direction of our face normals. And then I've been doing a float ID and a float Z pass. Um, at that point, you can right click and then create. I'm going to create one output from channel. You can create outputs and it will create an individual EXR for each one of these files. Or you can create one output and it will create a multi channel EXR that has all of these passes inside of one uh, large EXR image. Um, and so that, that's the way I prefer to do it and then shuffle things out in Nuke later. Um, and so upon adding those, then you can head over to this, uh, this tab here that says LPE, it stands for Light Path Expressions. And that's where we get things like our diffuse, our specular, our emission. Um, we're rendering using direct lighting, so we won't have any indirect stuff. Um, but if you were rendering with path tracing or VCM, you would also load those in if you could. Um, and then it even goes into like custom indirect and in diffuse and reflections based on your lights and, and all of this uh, Chinese this is called Chinese algebra over here because um, I don't know what that says um, but at that point <laughs> you uh, right click and add channels to selected outputs you do not well you could create a new one but I just like to keep everything in that one multi-channel EXR um, so I'm going to add channels to selected outputs when I have that pass selected and now I have all of those guys in the same pass um, so when I go in here and I hit uh, render again Hopefully this works quickly. It may or may not. And if it doesn't, we'll fix it with the power of editing. And so here is that kind of render that we had. And you'll notice here that under the catalog, which you can achieve by hitting C inside of Pixar's image tool, um, if you open that up, you have a bunch of other passes here. Like these, for example, are the normal pass and you can take this and be like oh I want to take the red edges um, and nuke and you can and you can use those those values and those colors to punch values through so you can um, 
increase or decrease like rim lines or things like that or you know we have a diffuse pass in here uh, we have an emissions pass for for all of our little lights sitting around we have the, the point pass you can't see yet because we have to gamma it down or expose it down but we can use this as a as a position inside of world space to create holdouts um, and so by by default it looks pretty weird like that but when you when you expose it down it looks pretty good uh, then we have like specular light um, the, the Z pass and the, and the ID pass are also um, you have to expose it way down to get those so that's kind of a quick introduction on how to get those passes um, as always let me know if you guys have questions email Facebook uh, whatever it takes just let me know and I can always help you guys out thanks so much